जियोबाइट वेलकम टू जियो बाइट इन दिस वीडियो लेटे सी क्विज ऑन क्लास सिक्स मैथ्स चैप्टर टू होल नंबर पार्ट वन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ हंड्रेड इज ऑप्शन ए वन हंड्रेड एंड वन ऑप्शन बी वन हंड्रेड ऑप्शन सी नाइंटी नाइन ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द अबाउ योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ योर टाइम इज अप एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज Option C, ninety-nine. Moving to the second question. The natural number that has no predecessor is option A, one. Option B, ten. Option C, one hundred. Option D. One thousand. Your time starts now. Your time is up, and the correct answer is option A. One. Now let us see the third question. To find the predecessor of a number. We have to subtract which number from the number itself. Option A four. Option B three. Option C two. Option D one. Your time starts now. Your time is up, and the correct answer is option D one. The fourth question is which of the following statement is true? Option A: All whole numbers are also natural numbers. Option B. All natural numbers are also whole numbers. Option C: There is no smallest whole number. Option D: The greatest whole number is hundred. Your time starts now. Your time is up. And the correct answer is option B. All natural numbers are also whole numbers. Moving to the fifth question. How many natural numbers are there between one and ten? Option A. Six. Option B seven. Option C eight. Option D nine. Your time starts now. Your time is up, and the correct answer is option C eight. The next question is: Whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication. This property is known as option A closure property, option B commutativity of addition and multiplication, option C. Associativity of 
addition and multiplication option d distributivity of multiplication over addition your time starts now your time is up and the correct answer is option a closure property now let us see the seventh question 2 into 3 within the brackets into 4 is equal to 2 into 3 into 4 within the brackets the above is known as option a commutativity of addition option b commutativity of multiplication option c associativity of addition option d associativity of multiplication your time starts now your time is up and the correct answer is option d associativity of multiplication moving to the eighth question which of the following is true option a the number 2 can be arranged as a square option b the number 2 can be arranged as a line option c the number 2 can be arranged as a triangle option d the number 2 can be arranged as a rectangle your time starts now your time is up and the correct answer is option b the number 2 can be arranged as a line the ninth question is Which of the following numbers can be shown as square? Option A, sixteen. Option B, eleven. Option C, twelve. Option D, fourteen. Your time starts now. Your time is up and the correct answer is option A 16 The next question is Which of the following numbers is not a triangular number Option A 9 Option B 3 Option C 6 option d 10 your time starts now your time is up and the correct answer is option d 10 moving to the next question the successor of 99 is option a 98 option b 100 option c 99 option d none of these your time starts now your time is up and the correct answer is option b 100 now let us see the next question 
the difference between the predecessor of a number and the number itself is option a minus 2 option b 1 option c minus 1 option d 2 your time starts now Your time is up and the correct answer is option C minus 1 The 13th question is Which of the following statement is true Option A 1 is the smallest natural number Option B 50 is the predecessor of 49 option c 1 is the smallest whole number option d 599 is the successor of 600 your time starts now your time is up and the correct answer is option a 1 is the smallest natural number the 14th question is find 27 divided by 9 divided by 3 within the brackets option a 3 Option B 6 Option C 9 Option D 27 Your time starts now Your time is up and the correct answer is Option C 9 The last question is 3 into 5 is equal to 5 into 3 the above is known as option A commutativity of addition option B commutativity of multiplication option C associativity of addition option d none of the above your time starts now your time is up and the correct answer is option b commutativity of multiplication let me know how many questions you answered correctly please do comment thank you for watching please do like share comment and subscribe to geobyte geobyte